is just to say thank you to a nation that uh, got involved in all of this. Uh, it's, it makes it special, not just for us, but for all, I think our nation as a whole. So thank you. A message of gratitude from the two astronauts who spent more than nine months in space. Two weeks after touching down on Earth, following multiple delays in their return, they open up about what happened and what the future holds. NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore were preparing for an eight-day mission to the International Space Station, but due to issues with their spacecraft, NASA extended their journey out of concern for the crew. The mission began in June of 2024, but the crew didn't make it home until March of this year, drawing attention both nationally and internationally. It's good for space exploration, is, and that's what we're all about. You know, our mission, of course, building and uh, working on the International Space Station was just awesome, and we all had the opportunity to do that. But we also have bigger goals of exploring our solar system, going back to the moon, going on to Mars. Boeing Starliner faced helium leaks and thruster failures, causing several delays until NASA was able to coordinate another spacecraft to bring them home. NASA brought the Starliner back in September without anyone on board. They then arranged for a brand new spacecraft to rescue the pair from the ISS with a crew on board. The journey briefly became political when President Trump made public comments claiming the crew had been abandoned in space by the Biden administration. In response, Williams and Wilmore stressed every mission is unique and highlights the importance of safety, explaining they train daily, both in space and before the trip, to prepare their bodies for the challenge. Wilmore said blame isn't the answer. It's not a one-man game. He emphasized getting to space and back safely was a team effort. Without a doubt, he added they would be back on a Starliner again. There were questions that I, as a commander of the spacecraft, that I should have asked, and I did not. At the time, I didn't know I needed to. Responsibility with Boeing? Yes. Responsibility with NASA? Yes. All the way up and down the chain. The astronauts said they're meeting with Boeing to provide insight into how they can improve this Starliner because they believe it has the capability to be a crucial asset to NASA. Since their journey home, Williams and Wilmore began therapy to adjust their bodies back to gravity at the Johnson Space Center. In total, they spent 286 days in space, making it the sixth longest flight by a U.S. astronaut. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Kaylee Carey. Find more stories on the Straight Arrow News mobile app. Thank you.